this episode I would like to talk about the mountain gorillas, which are the second closest relatives to humans after the chimpanzees. They share 98% of their DNA with us, and sadly, as many other primate species, they're also critically endangered. Right now, based on the last count, there are around 1,000 individuals living. This number, luckily, slowly growing, mainly thanks to the international conservation efforts and also because of the very well-organized and very expensive ecotourism. To understand how important this ecotourism is, for example, for Rwanda, the money which comes in from the gorilla permits is the second most important national income. Since these gorillas do not survive in captivity, if somebody wants to see a mountain gorilla, has no other choice but to visit one of the three countries where they're found, Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm so lucky that in the last couple of years I had the chance to visit four different groups of gorillas in three different national parks. This time I will talk about my encounter in Uganda in the Bivindi Impenetrable Forest National Park. True to its name, this forest is very thick and difficult terrain, we needed to cross very high undergrowth, high grass, steep mountains, steep hills with mud to eventually get to the gorillas. This is by far one of my favorite and one of the most beautiful forests I've known. Once we found the gorillas, the 60 minutes which we have starts to count. In 60 minutes so many things can happen and it's especially true when you are observing up close mountain gorillas. I just like to share three memorable moments. The first one is about a baby gorilla. This baby gorilla was playing maybe for 10 minutes, just hanging upside down from a branch, just toying, playing with its feet, grabbing it like a kid who is not getting tired ever. It really didn't mind that we are there, so we had all the time in the world to take pictures and videos. This was the moment when I realized how similar these animals are to us, and especially how similar their feet is to human feet. I even managed to take a picture of the feet of this baby gorilla. For me, it's an amazing memory. The second thing I would like to share is connected to the silverback of the group, which we've seen in the first second, but we just seen it to literally walk into the bush away from us and hide. As we learned, it had an encounter with another group's male the day before they fought. And even though it seems the silverback got out as the winner of the fight, it still got injured. So we did not have the chance to see it interacting with the rest of the group and we didn't get to see it in the open. But I got lucky enough to find it through the branches and leaves and managed to take a few pictures. For me it was an extremely strong moment seeing this powerful creature, the leader, the dominant male of the group, hiding there, injured and not wanting to be seen. It was a strong experience but luckily also we, we met two veterinarians who were there to check on the gorilla and later on they told us that he seems to be fine and most probably without any treatment it's gonna recover on its own. The third experience, which was by far the strongest of all, is the one which is the most difficult to explain and the most difficult to pass on. The last 15 minutes maybe, we spent sitting on the ground, as our guide suggested, and we just observed the gorillas who came gradually closer and closer. Some of them were feeding behind us, some of them right front of us, they passed around us, and we felt that they accepted us being there even though for just a short time and we could observe these amazing creatures not from far through binoculars but within their group. We were not part of the group, we were basically ignored and had the chance to first-handedly experience their regular life, their social interaction, their play, their love. It was an amazing experience which which will always stay with me. I luckily spent already four different occasions with the gorillas, but these 15 minutes of sitting around the gorillas or in between the gorillas, it's by far one of the 
best and most humbling experience I had. Later on, I would like to share more gorilla stories with you, but for now, this would be it. This was my story from 2019 from Uganda, from the Bivindi National Park.